If you guys have any feedback at the end of this, we can change a few things around or add a few things if I missed anything. So we'll start with the exterior painting procedure. And we're going to keep in mind that uh, these procedures are the guideline and may be adjusted according to uh, work order or unconventional situations. Uh, when followed correctly, they will prevent costly callbacks. If callbacks occur due to not properly following these procedures, then the employee could be held responsible for correcting faults in their own time. So um, as we get to the job, these are the procedures we'll follow. So number one will be greeting the customer. That will include such things as uh, introducing yourself and uh, maybe addressing the issues, any special concern that he or she may have. Uh, we'll do a walk around, so that's probably for the crew chief that's uh, in charge of the job. Uh, so you can notice any areas that may need special cares and uh, create a strategic plan to fit the budget. I can write it down or I can just keep it in the so I better write it down. Uh, we'll set up a shop area, so where all the tools are, and uh, so you have one place where you can go and pick up the tools. You don't have to keep going back to your truck. It was two or three minutes every time you go there. So basically, um, we'll start usually when we do an exterior, and we're assuming this is a full exterior. So we'll start with uh, painting soffits and gutters and anything that needs to be sprayed. So when painting the soffits, we'll have to mask up any area that are subject to uh, overspray and cover plants if needed. And then we'll just uh, go and proceed with the spray. Uh, once this is done, we'll prepare the home, fixing any uh, cracks with stucco patch, carved window seals, and screen frames. So we can get a nicer, uh, nicer cut lines. Uh, number six, then we'll proceed with the primer coat and uh, apply any rust killer to any area that needs it. And then we can roll or spray the seal around. Uh, we don't need to cut it, top or bottoms, unless the customer need it, wants you to do it or, um, or you feel that it's necessary. <coughs> Once we're done with the priming, we'll go apply the top coat. And uh, it's usually better to work one wall at a time so we get finished you know, from right, back, side, when I, and uh, so we need to protect all areas that are not to be coated, for example, plants, flooring, screens, windows, anything that doesn't need to have paint on it, uh, we, and we'll start with cutting the top after that, so that can be brushed or sprayed, whichever one you're comfortable with, uh, keep in mind spraying creates overspray, obviously, so if you're good with the shield or but that can be done. Uh, for the body then, we'll usually roll it on, but it can also be sprayed in back rolls if it is um, stucco. And uh, we can adjust techniques for different materials. So if it's a wood siding, anything like this, it's probably better to spray it a lot faster. Then we'll proceed by cutting the bottoms with a brush for spray again. And I uh, forgot to include there, I see that um, boxes, electrical boxes, or phone boxes at all, uh, the walls. These are usually sprayed, but we can brush them and roll them as well. Uh, we'll cut window returns. So obviously also, like I said, these, they don't have to be those steps precisely, like we can do the window returns before, but uh, when we do the window returns and the screen frame, it's good to use tape, uh, especially if the stucco is, uh, the stucco prohibits you from achieving a straight line then we'd like to use tape so we can get a cleaner look. And uh, when you're done with that wall, check for any missed areas and touch it up if you need to so you can move on to the next area. Uh, we'll move on to doors after that. Uh, we need to mask and protect surrounding areas, tape or take off hardware, and then you can proceed with the rolling, brushing, or spraying the door. And, uh, once the doors are done, we'll finish up with the floors. Uh, you'll have to clean the area, which is obviously if, the, if it's on the work order, it, it would have been uh, power washed before, but we'll still have to sweep it for any dirt and loose, uh, loose dirt. We'll apply a bonding primer, and uh, we'll cut and roll two coats of the finish. Uh, then we'll clean up daily with 
which uh, we include picking up tarp, trash, and tools, making sure we leave, uh, leave the area clean by the time we leave every day. Uh, we can clean tools, and uh, we have to keep the area where we're clean free of paint stains, so that could be any grass. Make sure we don't, if we clean it in grass, we gotta switch spots so we don't kill the grass. Uh, if there's rocks, make sure it's all washed down so that there's no stain left behind us. Uh, then we can put away the paint and letters in the designated area, and we'll have to inquire this with the customer. It could be on the side of the house, garage, front porch, back of night, whichever one you, uh, you agree with on the, on the customer. And number 11 will be uh, the completion of the job. So uh, you will, whoever the crew chief is on that job will do a walkthrough by itself, anyway, to uh, check for any missed areas. Then we'll uh, put everything back, start putting the mulch or rocks back in place, uh, put the furniture, sculptures back in place if there's any. Then we'll do a walkthrough with the customers, and then that can include uh, either Kurt, Jennifer, or I, if we are available at that time. And then you can put away your equipment, and we'll leave on a good note by demonstrating uh, sincerity and dedication. And get a video testimonial. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh,